Hey friends, I feel like it has been an eternity since we've last seen each other. I've actually tried to record this update twice before. The first time I was out on a trail and listening to it afterwards, there was just so much noise interference from a nearby highway and it was also really windy out. I just was not happy with it. So I decided to try again and got that completely done, but wasn't thinking mom brain late at night going through some files and accidentally deleted it before uploading it. So that was completely lost. Here we are now though, hopefully third time's the charm. So I did have my baby at the end of December. She was born at home and that was a very memorable way to start 2024. We did a announcement post with a picture of her and Nora together. And so thank you so much if you did offer your congratulations and blessings on that. Uh, it really does mean a lot. It has been about three months now. So she's like three months old. And it was rough going at first, but I feel like we have finally gotten our feet under us as new parents. We have a routine in place, and so things have gotten a bit easier. Time is um, becoming a little more available now. I don't have as much time, obviously, as I did before, but uh, I'm finding ways to make it work. Let me tell you, the baby carrier is a lifesaver. I can cook dinner and fold laundry and get a little bit of editing done. Anyway, I wanted to take a couple minutes today to do a quick update and just let you know what we've been up to. If you are not already, please go subscribe to the newsletter over on the website. That's one of the ways to stay in the loop, especially when I'm not uploading to the channel or the blog very often. It's just one of those ways that we can stay in communication. And in the winter newsletter that I finally sent out, I share a couple snapshots of the trips and hikes I was doing late into my third trimester, as well as some of the stuff we've been doing with our daughter, Wiggle. Uh, that's her trail name we've come up with. Well, her dad came up with, and so it's just kind of stuck. Uh, just shared some snapshots of what we've been doing with her, mostly hiking on local trails. We did take her on her first backpacking trip a couple weeks ago, and I won't give too much away as to how that went. I'm hoping to have the trip video for that uh, shared at some point. I know I've got like a whole list of trip videos that I have not shared from last year. Something that I want to talk about in this update I'm still gonna be hiking and backpacking and sharing those outdoor adventures with my family. I'm just not gonna be sharing all of those with everybody else. Just because uh, I don't record and make a big production video or trail journal about it, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. It's not to say that I'm doing away with the blog or the channel. I'm just not going to be posting as frequently on it. And that's something I know y'all understand. You have families of your own. They are your priority. And in the same way, my husband, my daughter, my many animals, they are my priority right now. And I need to make sure that I'm giving them the best of my time, energy, and efforts. With that said, I have made some excellent progress on the Max Patch video from last year, thanks to the baby carrier. And I have a rough draft of that pretty much two thirds of the way done. I set out with one goal in mind. Enjoy the journey. As for Jordan, he was just along for the ride.
which kind of brings me to some plans for the channel and blog going forward. I think I'm going to focus a little more on topic based videos. So the realities or responsibilities of backpacking with a dog, that video last I checked has like 22,000 views and it was posted last year. That's just insane to me. I did not realize this video would be as popular as it is. And on a weekly basis, sometimes even daily basis, comments are still pouring in. There's just been so much conversation sparked on this topic and just what was shared in that video. And I think I'm going to do a follow-up video, kind of responding to some of the comments and questions and even criticism that y'all had and focusing on kind of those topic-based videos. So if you do have any suggestions for topics you'd like me to talk about or even follow-ups from an older video that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. So the last thing I wanted to share here today is an update on my mother-in-law. So in the last video, the last update video, I shared that we found out over the summer she was diagnosed with breast cancer. So she ended up going through pretty aggressive chemo treatments and just a couple weeks ago, actually, this is a praise report, had her surgery. So the tumor was no longer showing up on an ultrasound after she had gone through chemotherapy and they decided to go ahead and do a lumpectomy and get the remaining tissue out and so now she's meeting with her oncologist and deciding the path going forward to continue with radiation or is she in the all clear to stop treatment altogether so i would really appreciate just prayers for wisdom and discernment because that is not an easy choice to make. I know some folks, even though they are recommended to continue with certain treatments, may choose not to. And I would really appreciate prayers going forward just for wisdom and discernment as to what to do. Um, I know that that's something she's been praying for. So once again, thank you so much for praying for our family. It has meant so much. And if you'll continue to pray going forward, that would also be really appreciated. I think that pretty much sums it up. If you did stay all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you again next time, whenever that may be. Tracing my footsteps through the wind Back to a place where I could begin Where do I go? Where do I go? And if we carry on, my friends We can make it to the end I just don't Don't go hiking. No, that's not an option.